Hey gang, it's us. A little bit different day today. No crazy lens flares today. Although we do have an out of order feather here. E you can see here she's got her feathers in the correct order. With that tiny feather there tucked in, as here. <coughs> incorrect. Incorrect feather, bird. Looks like you slept rough, mate. What's going on? <laughs> It's a new feather as well because it hasn't opened out all the way. Sort yourself out. Fix yourself, bird. Look at this. Oh yeah, she might. It's the sort of thing that she. Oh, that was so bird. I put my hand near her and then took it away by accident. <laughs> she nearly fell off. Um, quickly check the bird, bird poo perch. Hoi hoi. We are in the living room today and it's gently raining. Oh. Yeah, she's pretty much sorted right now. She's just got a tiny little bump so far, thank you. <laughs> it's also quite windy. They say it's going to be really, really squirky this afternoon and evening. So, um, that's, that's something to look forward to, isn't it? Hey, bird. Yeah, it's getting heftier as well. It's one of those things. It was a little bit breezy first thing this morning, but okay. But as the day's gone on, it's got a little bit frisky. This new roof's good though, isn't it? Hey, what do you think? Pretty, pretty tidy, yeah? I know, I'm, I'm excited about it too. <laughs> the first time it's rained on the new roof, so. Yeah, she's, she's pretty much sorted her feathers now. I say, she's just got to do her ears. And like, she's got a tiny, this is great, hang on, let me change cameras. I don't know whether you can see, but she's got a tiny little line of feathers right above her eye that she's got to sort out. Like, there you go. She's got a tiny little line of pin feathers there. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of eyeliner, yeah. Oh, she'll sort, she'll sort the overbite out. Uh, she, she hasn't got a lot of need for the overbite at the moment, so she will sort it. How much was she? We didn't pay money for Sophie, she's not a pet. Um, uh, Sophie's 10 years old. Aren't you? Hey? Oh, you see Roaring Con just then? I can't see them from where I'm standing. It's, um, there isn't a lot of data on the lifespan of wild birds. Um, the average sort of like lifespan for a, for a bird this size in the wild is like anything between 8 and 12 years or something like that. Ah, when I flip the camera. Right, cool. Um, I mean, we'll go over there in a second. But um, as soon as it starts raining. <laughs> yeah, parrots can live for years. If you, uh, They always say that... Um, Parrots are a lifelong um, obligation, I think you call it. Um, like if you, as an adult, buy a, buy a adolescent parrot, there's a very good chance that parrot's going to outlive you. So you need to make plans for that. You need to make plans for that. Yeah, exactly. 
exactly right, yeah. Was, was in, in his 20s, so yeah, it was a really eternal day. And, hello. Oh man. I had one of FEMA. FEMA buys these, um, like, little dry salted, like, breadsticks slash pretzel things. And I had one just before I came online. They're not for me. <laughs> they are not for me. Also little beeps and neeps today. We've got opinions. What do you think? This is okay though, isn't it? See? What do you reckon, bird? Oh, thank you. Sophie. See, look, got a... I haven't got a bum warm, but we're considering it. I think a bum warm may be in the post. I think there may be a bum warm incoming. Oh, update on the um, Wesley Crusher jumper. It came today, there are no Wesley Crusher vibes on it. I am quite relieved. <laughs> I bought the one that had like blues and browns in it rather than greys and oranges. So, um, yeah, I have, I'm, I'm, you know what, I am kind of disappointed as well, actually. It, it, oh, I bought a jumper online. I bought some clothes, a, um, I bought a, a new, like, hoodie and a, um, sweater online from, like, um, a clothes shop here in the UK called Marks and Spencer because I'm 47 and I buy my clothes from Marks and Spencer now. And, um, and after I, after I, clicked it, it sent me a picture of the things I had ordered in like an order confirmation email. And I looked again at the jumper in like an hour after ordering it and went, oh, where's the crusher vibes off that jumper? It's a, that sort of like sweater he had in like season two, I think it was, where it's like mostly grey, but then got like darker grey on his shoulders and that kind of thing with like a couple of coloured lines on it. Because I'm 47, yeah, because I'm 47 and have given up being attractive to anyone ever. Um, <laughs> yeah, and I got like, oh, slight Wesley Crusher from him sometimes, but have to see what, when it turns up, sort of thing. But fortunately, it turned up today and there are no Wesley Crusher vibes on the sweater. So. But yeah, in a way, I am kind of disappointed actually. I could rock the Crusher look, definitely. Next Generation's most underrated character, Wesley Crusher. <laughs> oh no. As long as you're not a neon orange. Yeah, funny you mentioned that. Um, the new hoodie is a little bit bright. Is a little bit brighter than the website made me believe. I'm okay with it, but it's a little bit more orange than, than the website slash my monitor had me believe yeah you know bits of next gen are crazy bits of next gen are like what what's going on here this <laughs> is so crazy yeah. oh european robins have got a really lovely little song oh, you're okay yeah. robins do have a lovely little song really they're beautiful little birds yeah Yeah, TNG. Yeah, Star Trek The Next Generation. Yeah. Um, yeah, you watch it and there are some crazy vibes on it. And there are some very strange costume choices as well. Eee, crazy raging after the nerve. <laughs> I remember reading an article about the, um, the guy that designed a lot of the costumes in um, the original Star Trek, William Ware Thies. And um, his theory when he was costuming ladies was 
the outfit that the person's wearing should look like it is one fastener away from falling off and um, very dubious very dubious but when you watch when you watch Star Trek when you watch the original like Kirk Star Trek you can totally see where he was going with that I mean it's not acceptable um, it's not acceptable it's sexist and outdated and should not be a thing but yeah when you watch it knowing that that was his design there are a whole bunch of costumes that you make you tense because you legitimately go if I was with somebody wearing that I'd keep an eye on him the entire time because it looks like it's a fact of yeah, actually Kirk was yeah Kirk was busted out all over the place wasn't he it just if it wasn't if it wasn't his muscles wasn't his physique it was, it was Little Kirk, wasn't it? Because, you know, his self, yeah, his, his, his phys physical embodiment. <laughs> yeah, just beam down to a strange planet, meet a blue chick, Kirk time. Like, oh no. You just imagine like the debriefs when they got back of just like, well, that was a successful mission. We managed to um, repair the neutron accelerator and uh, stop the planet from melting down. What do you think, Captain? He's just like lying there in a chair, smoking a cigarette with like a big slack grin on his face. He's just like, oh, of course you did. Of course you did. You gross weirdo. <laughs> Yeah, he was probably just like, oh, you got space chlamydia again, have you? Yeah, here you go. <laughs> What's these bird? Okay. Fair enough. What was that? <coughs> just, yeah. Just. But yeah, there was some... I remember, because I, I say, I joined... Um, Go and watch it. He's nowhere near as much as late. Oh, really? Is it? Is it one of those like collective, um, um, collective, like, um, thoughts that? Have... Yeah, I know their live stuff is really, really impenetrable because they're really rough live. Yeah, space comedia. Yeah, definitely better on record than they are in person. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Pulp culture meme, yeah. No jobs today, big IT pubs in the office. I'm feeding crows and magpies in my lunch in the car park. Feels good, man. Feels good. Feels really nice, yeah. That's, that's good vibes, that. Come on, bird. Let's go over to second day. Ooh, yikes. Right, okay. So yeah, the 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 um the hoodie is quite orange. Quite a lot more orange than I was ah, you missed me. Quite a lot more orange than I was expecting it to be. But um goes well with the blue top that I obviously threw on in the dark this morning. Um quickly call into Rory and Con if we can. Yeah, there they are. Yeah, it's not a bad orange, it's just not the sort of colour I would normally wear, so it's one of those sort of situations. As usual, Rory is hiding there. Tribbles Brie as well. Tribbles 100% Brie, now you mention it, yeah. That's why they're so soothing, isn't it? So fun. The hunter's cool fits, yep. <laughs> now the Jay's yelling at each other, brilliant. I think she, she hasn't seen it yet, but I think she hasn't she hasn't gone insane. She probably goes out, so she's probably doing the um she's probably doing the um courage the cowardly dog thing of just going, that's a nice cardigan for me to poop on! <laughs> What, 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 what? what can you see? Look, if you're going to stand on my hand, give me a bit of notice because... Oh, I, th I think I see what's happening. 
Look, there is nothing in the pocket, okay? Yeah? Pocket is empty. You understand that there is nothing in here, yeah? Let me show you. Okay. Oh yeah, your COVIDs have COVIDs have opinions and you are entitled to them. Yeah. <laughs> it just occurred to me that she was cycling. She was cycling round to look for look, I'm gonna stand in here. Actually no, uh, hang on, come on. Let's go over this side. Because then we can have a soup check. Let's have a look. Soup check. Yes. Oh wow. Pelicans and frigate birds, yikes, that's a handsome selection. Soup check. Soup check's quite thin, contains grape and pear. So yeah, a bit of a broth today, Olga. What do you think? <laughs> We're here for soup check. Wormy broth, mmm. She has eaten pear before, yeah, definitely. She likes the pear quite soft. It might be, she might be cooking up a fruit cocktail, you never know. Yum, yum, yum. Okay, what are we doing? What are we, what are we doing? <laughs> yep, breakfast of champions, gross soup. Ferment those fruits, yeah, get yourself some. Get yourself some. What was it? Prison sangria. <laughs> right, come on then, bird. Oh. Right. Right, come on. Time check. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I am 15, 10 minutes late for work, so. Right then, bird, let's do the lolly stick thing. Come on, buddy. Okay, oh, okay. Now, do a poo on camera. That'd be really, that'd be really good. At least you didn't. At least you didn't get me today. So hey, thanks for coming, gang. I got to run to work. So um, <laughs> oh, no. I've created a monster with a bad name. <laughs> but ready to go. So hey, thanks for coming, gang. I've got to run, but it's lovely to see you. Uh, if you've just stumbled across this on Periscope and you'd like to follow Sophie on Twitter, but stand still for just two seconds, mate. Sophie's Twitter handle is at Bree Sophie Bree, and there is also a Discord there that you can be into if you like those sort of things or if you prefer you can google sophie the magpie beep there we are that's it coming gang see you tomorrow <laughs>